Hey guys, so there is a tag going around YouTube, and I'm sure you've all seen it or heard about it, and it is the Summer Besties tag, and fortunately nobody tagged me for this because I don't have any friends, but anyway, um, no, you don't have to be tagged for it, you can do it if you want, um, I just thought it was a fun, um, it sounded like a fun video to do, and I've watched a few of them already, and it, it's just neat to see what everybody's um, summer essentials are, so I'll go ahead and get started. The first category is favorite lip product. Um, my first one would be the Blistex Medicated Mint with SPF 15, and I also like the um, all the EOS lip balms because they also have the SPF 15, and they're in bright summer fun colors and flavors. And um, you know, it's always good to have a lip product that has SPF because you don't want your lips to get sunburned, and that's gross. Next is favorite blush, and mine would be the Benefit Coralista, and it's just this nice um, coral, obviously. It's a coral blush. It is pretty bi bright, so you kind of have to use a lighter hand with it. I usually just put some on the brush and just, you know, blow it off real quick, and it gives a nice sheer pink color. It kind of makes you look like you've been out in the sun, even if you haven't, and if you have, it just enhances that. So next thing is favorite nail polish, and as far as summer goes, you know, favorite nail polish is anything bright, anything sparkly, like I have the Sinful Colors, just super bright nail polish, um, and I have this Revlon yellow nail polish, and this other Revlon, it's like an orange, corally color, um, and anything blue, this is the um, China Glaze Forever Audrey, or er, for Audrey, no, sorry. Um, so anything blue, um, especially like the SE Turquoise and Caicos, those are nice too because they look like ocean water. And like I said, anything sparkly, I have OPI in Glitzerland and um, Sinful Colors in Forget Now. So anything glittery, anything bright for me just screams summer. Push these down. Um, Next is favorite liquid face product. I don't really use liquid on my face, even in the winter, because I do have very oily skin, and it's not on my face like within the hour, it's like, mmm, it's like shiny. So if I do use a liquid, I'll use this e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer, um, which I actually have on today, and it does work really, really nice, and as long as you put like a powder over it, it's not too bad as far as the shininess goes, but if you don't, it's like... Mine's like super shiny. So instead of, but for like my everyday, um, I'll use the Maybelline Dream, um, what is it? Dream Matte Mousse. So, and that leaves, it, it does kind of leave, it's a little heavier on your skin, but for me, it, it keeps the shine away and it doesn't make me look like um, a big nasty grease ball all day. Um, next is favorite liquid, or favorite powder face product. And mine would be the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Loose Powder. And like I said, I just put this over, I put it over the Tinted Moisturizer and the Matte Mousse just to kind of set everything. And this, um, this shade is Translucent Medium. And I think it's, I, it doesn't say it on here, but I think on the package it's supposed to stay on for like 16 hours. And it's got some good stuff for your skin as well. So that's definitely worth picking up. Next is favorite hair product. Mine is the Garnier Fructis Style Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Smoothing Milk. I've used this for many years and it really does work. Um, I mean obviously like if it's raining out and your head gets wet, your hair is going to frizz and you know if it's wavy like mine it's going to get wavy and it's going to frizz. Like you can't stop that. You can't you know, prevent rain from actually hitting your head unless you wear a helmet. But um, as far as just like warmer, humid days, um, this really works. And I like it. I've used it, like I said, I've used it for years. And this is probably like, I don't know. I don't even, I've lost track of how many bottles I've gone through. Next is favorite eye product. Oh, it's right here. And it would have to be waterproof mascara. This is just the Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof, especially if you're going to the beach or going to be swimming or doing whatever, even just like a, 
a hot sticky day, um, normal mascara can kind of melt and obviously nobody wants raccoon eyes and nasty black marks dripping down their face. So this is a must for that. And any waterproof makeup really, like, um, I haven't tried it, but you know, they make like waterproof eyeliner and the, like the, the lip stains that are waterproof and supposedly they have like waterproof foundation and everything. I haven't tried any of those out, I've only stuck to waterproof mascara, but I don't know, I might try them out. Next is favorite self tanner, and mine would be the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze uh, Luminous Bronzer. I do like this. I wouldn't use it on a really hot day because it is kind of sticky. You have to wait for it to dry before you even do anything. And even then, like, in your arms right here, if that's, that gets sweaty and you're like this, it'll stick and then it'll leave like a weird mark. So, um, I mean, I do like this, but I just wouldn't use it before going outside and, and doing anything. Um, anything like that. All of the L'Oreal products are pretty good. I've, I've always had pretty nice luck with them um, as far as the self tanners go. Um, next is the favorite fashion accessory and I have a couple. One, one of mine is like a big, I just like big watches, big man looking watches for the summer. I think they look nice and they're easier to wear in the summer because in the winter you know, they look weird with like a sleeve over them or, you know, and they're just easier to wear. Mine's from Michael Kors, but just any big watch. A white watch is nice too. Next is obviously sunglasses. I have this pair from Lauren Conrad. Um, you know, like the big pair I, I personally like. Um, they're nice for keeping the sun off and, I don't know, I just like to look like a bug. And you always have to have, I think, a fun pair, so I have these lime green ones that I got, <clears throat> I don't know, probably from like Forever 21 or something. So, I like those. I think I always need to have a fun pair. Um, the next one is a nice purse, like a lighter purse. You don't want to be carrying like a big black leather purse for summer. I have this one from the sack that I got last year. It's just a nice big um, tote, tote bag and it's like made out of nylon or something. And I like it. It looks kind of um, boho, I guess. It's got like peace signs and you know there's people on it and stuff, so I like it. Um, it holds everything. You can even take it to the beach if you wanted. Next is a good like this one's from Vera Bradley, just a good like crossbody bag for you know in the in the summer like if you're going to concerts or festivals or whatever. I know there's a lot of those going around, and um, you know if you don't want to carry everything but you need the essentials, this is another good option. And the last thing is favorite clothing piece. My first one would have to be, of course, flip-flops. And Old Navy, for me, always has the best ones. These are a pair I've had for, like, two years, I think, and I've completely worn them out. I probably need to get a new one. They're, they're starting to wear down. But, yeah, they have theirs, and you can't beat them. They're usually, like, two for five dollars or something, and they have every all these different colors. Um, next is, like, a nice pair you know, a little dressier pair of flip-flops for going out or whatever and you don't want to wear just your basic flip-flops. And these are just from Target and they've got little, uh, you know, rhinestones or whatever on the top. Those are nice too. Next would be like, um, tank tops are really good. I never really used to wear tank tops before because they, I don't know, i just just never that comfortable with my arms but since I've been working out they, my arms are starting to look a little better, and I'm starting to feel better about wearing tank tops. So this was just like a fun flowery printed one from Old Navy, and this is just a basic one from Old Navy as well. They have really good um, basic tank tops. So, sorry about the dog, if you can hear him barking. <laughs> Next are these um, really nice v-neck boyfriend t-shirts from Target. They're very light. Um, very thin, so they're great to just throw on over a pair of jean shorts or something and be casual and comfortable but cute at the same time. Next, the last thing would be um, just a cute little summer dress. I like this one from Forever 21. Um, I think this was like $6. You can use it as just an everyday casual dress or a cover up. And this last one is just from just a basic tube dress from American Eagle that's really nice. It's just navy blue and white. So 
that is all I have for my Summer Besties tag. Um, I tag anyone that wants to do it, um, so nobody specific. So if you want to do it, I'd love to see what you have. So, and that's all. Thanks. See you guys later. Bye.